Hello and welcome to Brew Days. You find me here in my brewery cleaning my equipment. I'm circulating some hot water from the kettle through the pump and round and up through the silicon tubing into a vessel aloft. From there, it gravity feeds back down into the kettle. And there we are, back at the beginning. So with everything cleaned and rinsed and put back, I'm now on to filling up the kettle for the pre-boil. I pre-boil the water in order to reduce the amount of chalk in it. We have hard water here in London and I know nothing of water chemistry and so the best way of at least neutralising my water is to boil it, I've found. I'm filling it with these nice office style drinking water containers that a friend of mine gave me. They're great because they've got nice solid handles on them and they have really quite a good capacity. Right, I've covered the bottom element of my kettle. I have two three kilowatt elements in my kettle. So I can turn that on now and start heating the water and go and get some more. I've set up a sink outside the garage, the brewery, uh, and there is my filling station in action. Right, a few more. Get rid of that a bit of that beer belly. I've covered the second element now, so I can turn that on. Probably more than I bothered to show. One more now again. And we're up to the mark. 75 litre mark. Right, I'm estimating that I need about 45 minutes to get to a boil. It's actually a lot more than that, but I didn't want to risk it. And so now we're on to the rolling boil. So I'm going to set that for 15 minutes. And while it's boiling, I'm going to try and repair the false bottom of my mash tun because the tubing on the outside of the rim has shrunk over time. And the gap needs filling. I'm going to do that with a bit of silicon tubing. I do this every time because I keep losing the bit I repair it with. Let's see how confident I am. And there it is all in place. So now I can move on to filling the sparge liquor tun, which unfortunately the pump won't push the water up that high. I have to start it off with the, with the vessel on the ground, get the pump going, and then lift it up into the air very quickly before it gets too full and heavy and dangerous. There we go. That's where it wants to be. Lovely. So I get up there, bang my head, and check that it doesn't overfill, and then once it's full, I can turn off the pump and get the lid and pop it on. And on to refilling the kettle. So I'm back on the bottle. A couple more of those. There we 
go. Full, pop the lid on. Get it to boil again. Nice rolling boil. And again another 15 minutes. And that will leave plenty of precipitate in the bottom of the kettle at the end. That didn't go into the beer. 